Breaking news, we are finding out about more smash and grab robberies in East Honolulu. Dallas on Tavares joins us live from the Kahala area with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christy and Ross. And this investigation is still ongoing, but what we know so far is five different businesses have been impacted. There's been a location over at Coco Marina Center. We have no information on that yet. We're still waiting for developments, but three over at the Aina Haina Shopping Center. They are Jack's Restaurant, also Mama Fa, and Aina Haina Chop Suey, and also here at the Kuono Marketplace, which is right across Kahala Mall, here at Barbecue Chicken and Daiichi Ramen. And as of right now, we don't know what was stolen from barbecue chicken, but you could see that the front door has, was just completely smashed with still some glass here at the edges here at the door. So here joining us on Wake Today to tell us more of the reaction is Chris Choi, who's the general manager of Purve Donuts, which is right next door to barbecue chicken. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. So we've been covering the string of burglaries that have been happening overnight, and even though your business wasn't impacted, Tell us how it's still a concern for you and your employees. Well, it's always it's always a concern. Our employees, you know, we are um, a young staff, and you know, we we care for everybody, even our neighbors. Um, to have security for them is is important. Um, when things like this happen, you just don't know. I mean, like for a barbecue chicken, it'll cost them more for them to fix the door than probably what was taken. Um, a lot of these things happen, and it's been happening a lot, and yeah. who knows um, what we're going to do to yeah. fix it. And breaking down just this year, I know there was a smash and grab situation over in Eva Beach and also in Kailua, now over here in the Kahala area. What do you think needs to be done differently to prevent more or any of these smash and grabs happening in the future? Um, it, it's hard to say if you can afford security. 24-hour uh, security would help, I think. Um, but I think... Honestly, if they want to get into a place, they'll, they'll just get in there. Um, a lot of times, they don't even know what they're breaking into. They don't know who they're affecting. Um, a lot of it is small businesses that um, struggle. We're struggling right now as well. And when things like this happen, it puts everybody back. Do you know if there are any cameras here in this area that could have captured something? Um, there, there may be. I'm not too certain about that. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, just kind of off your head, for a damage like this, smash door, how much would this cost a local business? Oh, it, it'll put you back a little over $1,000. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Chris Choi, for your time. Of course, we are all about supporting local business. So like you said, when something like this does happen, it's just very unfortunate because we're all still trying to get by here during this high inflation coming out of this pandemic. So if we do hear anything from this investigation, or if there is any connection to any of the different burglaries happening here on this side of this island, we'll keep you posted first throughout Wake Up Today and also online at KH12.com. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Onoveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thanks for the live update, Dallas. 635 right.